Hey guys, it's Catherine, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom layout in an app called Graphic. Now, Graphic is $8.99 in the App Store. It's not very expensive at all. You just pay it once, and then you can use it for several different things. You can use it to create digital stickers. Uh, you can use it cr to create layouts like we're doing today. Um, you can use it just to type up something in a custom font and then bring that back into GoodNotes for digital planning. It has a wide variety of uses. It works a little bit like Photoshop. Um, so if you're already familiar with Photoshop, you'll probably find graphic pretty easy to use. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be building a custom layout for the Glamour Planner. Now the Glamour Planner is available in my Etsy shop. I'll link to that in the video description. You don't have to have that in order to create your own layouts. I'm just, uh, disclosing that with you so you'll understand where I'm getting my dimensions from for my pages and stuff like that. So first, I'm going to pull up the Glamour Planner in GoodNotes. And I just like to have this ready to go so I can bring it right in. Okay, so we're in November right now. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my blank page. Here's where I'll be placing my new layout. You know, everybody that creates planners has their own way of providing information to you. They may or may not disclose the page dimensions. So it might be something that you have to kind of guess. Um, with this planner, I give you the page dimensions so it's easy for you to create your own layout. So I'm gonna pull up that PDF so I can get the page dimensions. Okay. So the full page dimensions for the planner is 12.4 in width by 9.11 in height. So now I'm just going to go to the graphic app. The icon looks like this right here and I'm going to select it and I'm going to create a new canvas. So to do that, I'm just going to hit this plus sign and then I'm going to select blank. So now I'm going to click on that canvas and I know the page dimensions that I need. We just looked that up. So in order to adjust this page size, I'm gonna click on this gear right here. So if you know the pixels, you can change everything right here under dimensions, but if you only have the inches to go by, which is what we have, you can come down here to where it says resize canvas and you can change where it says pixels, you can click on that and change it to inches. So we need the width to be 12.4 inches and the height to be 9.11 inches. So I'm gonna click in the area where the numbers are. And for width, I'm gonna type in 12.4. And for the height, I'm gonna type in 9.11. So now we have the exact canvas size that we need. So I'm gonna click on apply. So that changed our canvas. So now I am going to create eight boxes. I'm gonna have a box for every day of the week and then I'm gonna have a note section. So in order to create these boxes, I am going to select this rectangle right here. And I am just gonna click and drag. And I'm gonna have to kind of guess the size for now. And then um, I can always adjust things later. So this looks pretty good. So I've got one box and now let me move it. And I'm gonna duplicate that. So while it's selected, and I know it's selected because it's got the blue box, I'm gonna go to this paper clip and I'm gonna select copy. And then I'm gonna select paste. And so that brings in another blue box. And now I can just slide this over and I look for my alignment and you can see the alignment. It's those orange lines that popped up. And now I have these two boxes connecting. So I need to now select both of these. Um, and the way you can select both of these, um, meant to show you this. Um, make sure your arrow tool is selected right here and then you can just click on the canvas and drag and now it's selected both of the boxes. So now again I'm going to go to the paper clip, I'm going to go to copy, and then I'm going to go to paste and now I've got four boxes and again I'm going to align those. So I need three more to go across. So again I'm going to select three boxes now. I'm going to go to the paper clip, select copy, and then select paste. And then I'm going to select these three boxes and then move them to align them. So this goes way off the canvas. These boxes are way too wide. So now what I need to do is I need to select all seven of the boxes and then start adjusting the width of the boxes to make them fit. So in order to adjust the width, you want to select this blue dot right here and move them until they have the right width and they all fit on the page. So, 
That looks pretty good. Um, so these are my daily boxes right here. And when I go to my layers, which my layers is right here, you'll see they're all on layer number one and they're all on their own individual layer as well. It's an object within a layer. Okay, so those are my daily boxes. So now I'm gonna create a note section down here. So again, I'm gonna go to my rectangle and I'm gonna just draw this out right here. And now I want to adjust the size of it. So I want it to line up with these boxes. So what I'm doing is I'm dragging uh, the blue dot until I have it aligned with the sides, which I can see that it's aligned because I see that orange line pop up. And then I'm gonna make the spacing a little less. There we go. So now I've got a note section down here. So now I want to create daily headers. I'm gonna use a custom font that I have installed on my iPad. If you're not sure how to do that, I have a separate tutorial which teaches you how to do that. So I'm gonna to link to that in the video description and you can check out that video and get your own fonts that you can use in graphic and then come back to graphic and create these headers. So um, in order to use the font that I already have, I'm gonna to go to my text tool and where it says double tap to edit, I'm gonna double tap. So I need to make a header for each day of the week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my font size. Let's see how that looks. It needs to be way bigger. And actually I'm gonna switch this to Wednesday because Wednesday, uh, like I've said in some of my other tutorials, you wanna start with the longest day. Okay, so that's gonna fit over a box, so we want font size 35. So the thing about graphic, at least on my iPad, and there might be a way to change it, it leaves this huge text box around it if you start off with a bigger font size and then up reducing the font size. Um, so what I usually do is I just figure out my font size and then I go in and I delete that layer. So I have my Wednesday layer selected and now I can select trash. So now when I go back, to my text, it's the correct size and it has the correct size box around it. So now I can double tap it and type in Wednesday and I'll have the correct box size. So now I wanna place Wednesday. I'm gonna create my layout with a Monday start because that's what I like to do. So I'm just gonna, oops, I moved a box. So I'm just gonna select my text and I'm gonna drag it above the third box because since I'm doing a Monday start, it would be the third box. And you can see that it's aligned with the third box because that orange line is right there. So now that's aligned. So now I'm gonna just uh, do the rest of the days the same way. I'm gonna show you Monday and then I'm gonna speed through the rest of them. So um, I'm gonna close my layers. I'm gonna go to my text, double tap, and type in Monday. So now I've got my layout set up and um, it's proportional, it fits across the page. And if you wanted to, I'm not gonna do this today, but um, you could create a header and you could also number your boxes as well. So if you have the dates for the week and you wanted to turn this into a dated page, you would just add those dates using your text tool as well, which is right here, your type tool, whatever you wanna call it and you could align that above the boxes and then you could create some sort of header. Um, but I'm keeping this completely undated with no header so I can use it in multiple months for multiple weeks. So now that it's done, um, I'm gonna just select back right here and I want to select save. So now I can see it right there. Um, so in order to save this, this is how I save it. I'm not sure if there's another way. Um, Graphic, even though I'm familiar with how to operate it just based on my experience with um, Photoshop and Illustrator, I'm not familiar with saving very well. So this is just how I always save things in here. Um, so if there's another way and you know about another way that's easier, feel free to leave a comment about that. But anyway, um, what I do is when I'm on my main page right here, um, I select this box right here and I select save to photos. So then I'm gonna select that document and I'm gonna click on share. And I like to save my layouts as 300 DPI so they're the best quality. Um, I wanna keep it scaled to 100% because we need that ratio 
and I do want to include the background. Um, I believe if I deselect that, it will give it a transparent background, but we want the background, we want that white background for a planner page. So um, now I'm gonna select save, and it's saving it, and now it's gonna be in my camera roll. So now I can go to my planner in GoodNotes. I'm already on the page that I wanna put this layout. So I would just import it like I would any image from my camera roll. And it fits ratio wise. So now I can just drag and I've got a new layout to use. Um, I could also use this in Procreate, which is what I would personally do to decorate this page. But um, that's how you do it. It's really, really simple. And if you followed my Build Your Own Digital Planner course, um, but you didn't want to invest in Illustrator or Photoshop or something like that, Graphic is a great alternative for both of those programs because you can create really good layouts um, the same way that you would in Illustrator or Photoshop. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to help. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials, iPad tutorials, and digital plan with me videos. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now. Oh, and by the way, if you would like this layout for free, if you've already purchased the Glamour Planner, it'll fit perfectly. But you can also use this layout. Um, you can print it and use it or you can use it in another digital planner. You would just have to size it for that planner. Um, I am gonna include this for free on my website. It's gonna be available exclusively to subscribers. So make sure you check out the video description. I will include a link to my newsletter and all you have to do is sign up for my newsletter. I, I do not send a lot of newsletters at all, so you won't get spammed, I promise. But immediately after you sign up, um, you will get a password to my freebie library and then you'll be able to find this page in the planner printables section. So uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to contact me. Thanks so much.